Hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric, and today we're going to play another game for the 1905 season replay. We're going to be playing another New York Giants game, and they're going to be going for the sweep against the Brooklyn Super Buzz. Uh, as you can see, they won the first three games of the series: 10 to 6, 7 to nothing, and 11 to 7. And um, the last game was kind of, especially it was kind of an exciting game, going back and forth, uh, especially near the end of the game. And uh, like I said, they're going to be going for the sweep today. They're uh, currently eight and five, and um, as you can see off to the right here, their team batting. They're currently uh, second in the majors with a 268 average, only behind Philadelphia with 287. And um, Philadelphia Phillies, that is, in the National League. And their team pitching is third in the league at 2.273. Two uh, the Chicago Cu uh, White Sox, are actually in the American League, are first with a 1.67 ERA. So, just wanted to get, show you a little bit about their team here and their uh, how they rank in the league and uh, what they've been doing lately. So they, they're going for their fifth straight win. So they're th starting to turn things around after a, you know, a good start and then they lost uh, five out of the next six games and now they're going for five in a row. So they seem to have righted the ship. So all right, so let's get the game underway. And let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. And let's see here. The Detroit game, I just want to make sure it gets... We are going to be playing some more Detroit games once Ty Cobb uh, is on the roster. We have played one Detroit game. Um, we played a couple of games ago. And uh, But Ty Cobb was not on the team, but I just want to showcase the team a little bit. Get to get to know the team a little bit before they uh, actually start. Um, Cobb starts at the end of the season. So Detroit is six and eight. So all right, let's get the game underway. So sim the other games. All right. Load the lineups. Welcome to Washington Park where New York will take on Brooklyn. Joe McGinnity takes the mound for New York. He's made three starts on the year and is 2-1 with an earned run average of 1.33. His first start against Brooklyn. He'll be opposed by Doc Scanlon for Brooklyn. He's made three starts on the year and is 3-0 with an earned run average of 1.33. His first start against New York. It's 64 degrees. Wind speed 4 mph, left to right. Sorry, it's up for Brooklyn, Doc, Scanlon. Leading off for New York, center fielder, Mike, Donlin. Sorry, right, so both pitchers are have an ERA of 1.33 in three starts. Uh, Doc Scanlon for Brooklyn is 3 0, and Joe McGinty is 2 1 for the New York Giants. So, all right, so let's get the game underway. Play ball! So, that's, so that's Doc Scanlon is on the mound for Brooklyn. Yeah, like I said, he's 3 0 with a ERA of 1.33. 27 innings pitched, 21 hits allowed. A walk and seven strikeouts. Opponents are hitting 202 off of him. He was 14 and 12 in the actual season. And. Mike Donlin, the center fielder, leads it off for the uh, New York Giants. Uh, he's got an eight, riding an eight-game hitting streak. George Brown, the right fielder, bats second. Roger Bresnahan, the catcher, will bat third. Batting cleanup, Dan McGann, the first baseman. Sam Mertes is your left fielder, batting fifth. Art Devlin, the third baseman, will bat sixth. 
Bill Dowling, the shortstop, will bat seventh. The second baseman, Billy Gilbert, bats eighth. And on the mound batting ninth is the pitcher, Joe McGinty. So, all right, so that is your lineup for the New York Giants. So Donald steps to the plate. Like we said, he's riding an eight-game hitting streak. So Galen looks in for the sign from Ritter. Here's the windup in the pitch. And it's a leadoff walk. And that's how we'll begin. So George Brown up now for Brooklyn, I mean for uh, New York. Hitting 246 with a homer and nine runs batted in. Has scored nine runs. And dribble it short. Over to second for one. Back to first. And Brooklyn turns two. So that'll bring up Bresnahan, the catcher, hitting 378, five runs batted in, has scored 11 runs, four doubles and two triples. Strike one. Actually, Brown beat that one out. I thought he was able to turn two, but it wasn't an error. It's just a fielder's choice. So Brown does reach. 26 stolen bases hasn't tried one yet. I think I might I, think I might try to steal. Let's try it. So Brown, see if he can get the lead. And he's off with the pitch. And he's safe. So Brown has his first stolen base of the season. So he'll be in scoring position now for Bresnahan. Ball one. One and two. And in the first inning, Boston and Philadelphia are scoreless. We'll bring you all the games underway in the end of the third. So, two and two now. And it's a dribble down the first baseline. First baseman. Gessler taking himself. And Brown will move to third. With two down now. So Dan McGann hitting 300 with no homers, but does have 13 RBIs. I believe that might lead the team. Uh, at least leads the starting lineup today. As Dowling has 11, but McGann has 13. So another RBI chance for McGann. Chance to knock in his 14th. And it's not going to be, he's not going to do it, but the run is going to come home on the arrow by Hall. And Giants are on the board first. I'll bring up Sam Mertes hitting 218 with a homer and six runs batted in. Scored seven runs and has three stolen bases. Just low, ball one. Two another count. Swings and misses. Strike one. Two and one. And he hits it down the left field line. And the left fielder. It's one error after one half inning. Sheckard will run it down for the out. Pitching for New York, Joe McGinnity. Leading off for Brooklyn, left fielder, Jimmy Sheckard. All right, so. I guess apparently I was pronouncing it wrong. It was Joe, it's Joe McGinnity, not Joe McGinty. Which makes sense. There's an I there near the T. So J Joe McGinnity. As a fine play-by-play -play partner. The, the computer guy. Hired from a Red Sox fan. Let him go. So I decided to hire him. So uh, he's got a record of 2-1 and one with the area 1.33. 27 innings pitched. 24 hits allowed. A homer and 9 walks and oh, one home run allowed nine walks and eight strikeouts opponents are hitting 233 against them so Jimmy Shuckard who just had it was I believe it was a 12 game hitting streaks 12 or 13 game hitting streak snapped the last game uh, I think he was the only Brooklyn player without a hit ironically uh, but he's still hitting 354 Five runs batted in, has scored 13 times. 
and has four stolen bases. So he'll lead it off for Brooklyn. He'll be followed by Gessler, the first baseman. Dobbs, the third baseman, will bat third. Emil Batch will bat cleanup and play third base. Phil Lewis, the shortstop, bats fifth. Second baseman, Bob Hall, will bat sixth. Batting seventh, Harry McIntyre, the right fielder. So Harry McIntyre is also a pitcher. But today he's playing right field. Behind the plate, batting eighth, will be Lou Ritter, not John Ritter. <laughs> And on the mound, batting ninth, it will be Doc Scanlon. So that's your lineup for Brooklyn. Getting any looks in for the sign, here's the wind up in the pitch. And it's a strikeout. Doc Jessler. So one down for the other Doc on the team, Doc Gessler. So they have two Docs in the house. John Dobbs. So it's a single to left. Gessler is on. Washington and Boston are tied at one. I mean, are tied at. are in the first with no score. That'll bring up Dobbs, who was part of that brawl after he got hit by the pitch a couple of games ago, in which he was ejected, as long as the pitcher for the. Uh, For the uh, New York, I think it was that his name was Dummy. I can't think of his last name. <laughs> I think he was one who was ejected for the uh, for the New York Giants. So Dobbs comes to the plate, hitting 313 with six runs batted in, scored six runs, a couple stolen bases, three doubles, and two triples. It's under one. It looks like it's going to go out of play and back of the. Yep, just into the stands and back of the plate. So 0 and 1 the count. Uh, another score: Chicago leads Pittsburgh 1 to nothing. National League action in the second. And he's off with the pitch. And Gessler is able to steal second. So you get a good jump on that one and stole it pretty easily. Uh, that's his first steal in the season. So 0 and 2 is the count on Dobbs. It's a dribble to first. McGann will take it himself, and Gessler will make it the third. So looks like a mirror of uh, New York's first inning. Let's see if they see if Gessler is able to score. I'll bring up Emil Batch, the third baseman, hitting 241 with a homer and six runs batted in, has scored seven runs. Strike one, inside corner, and it's a hot shot to the second baseman, Gilbert makes the catch to retire the side. So Art Devlin is up now for the Giants, hitting 220, seven runs batted in, six runs scored, a couple stolen bases. And a hot shot past the second shortstop, Lewis. Dolan. And he's gonna go. He's gonna try to stretch it, and he'll be in there with a double. It's a bit of a risky play by Devlin, but it pays off. Cleveland leads St. Louis one to nothing in the first. Now they'll bring up Dolan, the shortstop, sitting 275 with 11 runs batted in. Second in the team in ribbies. Nine runs scored, two stolen bases, a double and two triples. So Devlin takes his lead off second. And it's ball one. Ball two down and in. Three and oh. Uh, umpire said that was high. So three and oh count. Let's see if he gets the green light. 
And he decides to hold up and walks on four pitches. Billy Gilbert. So that'll bring up Billy Gilbert, the second baseman, hitting 200 with two runs batted in. I scored four runs. Gets under one here. And it looks like it's down the third baseline. It looks like it's going to be into the stands as Batch gives chase. It's unable to get it. So 0 and 1 the count. And it's a dribble to third. Throws over to first. Pitcher Joe McGinnity. So it works the same as the sacrifice as Devlin moves to third and Dallin is second. So that'll bring up Joe McGinnity, the pitcher. And he won 67 in 12 at bats, two hits and 12 at bats. Does have himself a double and an RBI, as well as a run scored. So he's got a couple ducks on the pond, a chance to add to the New York lead, help his own cause. Ball one. And he gets under one and pops it to third. And Batch comes in and makes the catch for the second out. That'll bring up the top of the order, Donlin. Still, still looking for that hit. So extend his hitting streak to nine games. This would be a great opportunity for him now, as it would knock in a couple runs, most likely. And a hot shot to second. No runs. One hit. Hall gets it. After one and a half, New York one, Brooklyn zero. Shortstop, Phil Lewis. And throws over to first to retire the side. So Philadelphia and New York are still scoreless in the second. All right, Lewis will lead it off for the for Brooklyn, inning 356 with a homer and eight runs batted in. Scored five runs, a couple stolen bases, and a double. And gets under one here, third baseman. Devlin moves over and makes the catch in foul territory. And right, bring up Bob Hall. He's hitting just 100, just one hit and 10 at bats. That hit was a double with a couple of runs batted in. And he hits this one in the center. Donlin drifts over and makes the catch. Two down now for Harry McIntyre. Has one hit and nine at bats. Shortstop, no runs, no hits. Uh, Dallin will make the play to retire the side. New York one, Brooklyn zero. So Brown will lead it off for the Giants in the top of the third, up one to nothing. Now the score for you: Cleveland leads St. Louis two to nothing in the second. Scan looks in for the sign. Here's the windup in the pitch. Brown gets under this one. And Dobbs gets under it, makes the catch. One down. Cleveland now leads three to nothing in the second. So Bresnahan up now, it was 0 for 1. Slow roll to second, Hall is up with it. Throws over to Gessler. And that's two down. Philadelphia leads Boston in the third, four to nothing. Alright, that'll bring up McGann, who's 0 for 1. And hits this one to no center. No hits, no errors. And that'll do it. After two and a half, New York 1, Brooklyn 0. Catcher, Lou Ritter. Alright, so the catcher Ritter up now, hitting 265 with two runs batted in, three runs scored, a stolen base. And it's. Slow roll at a short. Dog, Scanlon. And Dallin is able to get him. One down. Alright, Doc Scanlon the pitcher up now. Hitting 167, which is right on his season average. Two hits and 12 at bats. Has an RBI and a run scored. Bob Wald on the third baseline. And 
Flies out to Brown for the second out. All right, Washington and Boston are now tied at one in the third. All right, that brings up Sheckard. He was 0 for 1 in the day. It's a line drive to Gilbert. Great play by Gilbert. After three, New York one, Brooklyn zero. So that'll do it for uh, the Super Buzz in the third. So we played three full, so let's check our out of town scoreboard. So top of the third, Cleveland leads St. Louis three to one. Howell against Joss. Howell for the Browns against Joss for Cleveland. New York and Philly are tied at one in the top of the fourth. Henley against Chesborough. The Yank for the Highlanders, actually. Not the Yankees yet. Washington and Boston are tied at one in American League action. Hughes against Cy Young. The Cubs lead the Pirates three to nothing. In the bottom of the fourth. Rulebach for the Cubs and Philippe. Philippe. <laughs> Philippe. Two to one. I mean, uh, for Pittsburgh. He's two and one. Both pitches are actually two and one. Alright. Uh, Philadelphia. It'll be the Phillies lead to the Boston. Is that the Bean Eaters in there? Yeah, Bean Eaters. I score four to nothing in the top of the fourth. Ed Delahanty goes for the Boston against Duggleby for the Phillies. And Detroit and Chicago are scoreless in the top of the first. Mullen against Alt Rock. And that is your out of town scoreboard check again after the sixth inning if I remember <laughs> Sam Murti is the left fielder up now fly it out to the left fielder his first time out scan looks in for the sign is the wind up in the pitch and a leadoff walk for Murtes. brings up Art Devlin one for one in the day and dribble down the third base line. Foul ball. So 1-1. One, one. And it's at the center. And Dobbs is, ranges to his right and makes the catch. Martez goes back to first. And bring up the shortstop, Bill Dolan. He walked his first time up. Strike one. And dribble it a short. Great play by the shortstop, Dolan. Throws over to second for one. Back to first. Double play. No hits. No errors. After three and a half. Yes. One. Brooklyn zero. So the Giants turn two. Actually, I'm sorry. The uh, Brooklyn turns two. And bring up Gessler here in the top of the bottom of the fourth. He is one for one. Singled his first time up. Guinea looks in for the sign. Is the wind up in the pitch? And is that a walker? A hit bats hits by hit by yeah, hit batsman. Or HBP hit by pitcher. Brings up Dobbs. Garner the first, his first time up. We're gonna throw over to pick off. This guess I got a stolen base last time. And he's back there easily. Gain looks into the sign. He's going to throw over one more time. And he's back well ahead of the throw. So Dobbs up now. Still yet to see a pitch. Cincinnati leads Houston. They leads St. Louis. The National League action 2-1. to one. And he's off of the pitch again. And he's safe again. So he seems to be reading McGin McGinnity really well. So gets his second stolen base off of him. 
So, we're in scoring position with nobody out. As Detroit and Chicago are still scoreless in the second. So, I'll count on Dobbs is 1 and 0. And change up swing and a miss, 1 and 1. Chicago leads Pittsburgh 3 to 2 in the fifth. And it's a bunt. And it's a good one as the pitcher throws over to Gilbert, covering first. Gasly move up to third, so one out in the run run third. For Batch, line the second his first time up. A chance for, ooh, it's hit a long way. And Mertes will make a great running catch. Gessler scores, tags up and scores, so it's all tied at one now. So two outs now for Phil Lewis. Pop the third his first time up. It's under one here. The shortstop Gilbert moves over, catches it pretty close to the second base bag. After four, New York one, Brooklyn one. So we're all tied up at one, heading to the top of the fifth. So Gilbert up now, 0 for 1 in the day. And it's all, did that fall in? Apparently it did. So Dobb came in, but he let it fall, didn't want to charge it, didn't want it to get by him. And Gilbert is on with a lead off single. I'm not going to try to steal with him. But I think we are going to bunt with McGinnity, although he's a 233 hitter. I think we're doing, I think we're going to, and yeah, they're putting the corners in, so I think we're just going to hit away and try to surprise him here. Ball 1-0 oh, inside. 2-0. and 3-0. Oh. So 3 0 on the pitcher McGinnity. I think we're going to take one here. And he walks on four straight pitches. So the first two runners are on for the Giants. Bring up Donlin. Still looking for that hit to extend his hitting streak to nine games. He walked and grounded the second. Strike one at the knees. And he gets under one behind the plate, and it looks like he's going to have a play on it. And the catcher, Ritter, will make the catch to retire to Ireland. So he fails to continue his hitting streak in this at-bat. So I bring up George Brown, go for two. And he hits it to center. Cobble drifted over to his right, and make the catch. Dobb, sorry, not Cobb. <laughs> so two down now for Bresnahan. See if he can put Brooklyn, I mean, uh, put the Giants back on top. Strike one, swinging. Low ball one, one and one. Outside corner, strike two. Hot shot down the third base line, and Batch cannot handle it, and he'll be charged with an error, which will load the bases. It'll bring up McGann. He was 0 for 2 on the day. Ball 1 up and in. 2 and 0. Low and away, curveball. 3 and 0, fastball. So he seems to have trouble finding the plate. 3 no count to McGinn. He'll take one here. Strike. Uh, that one looked like it was inside, but I guess it was outside on the black. And it's a foul ball down the first baseline, so full count, so the runners will be off on the pitch. And he walks him. So that'll bring home a run. And the Giants are back on top. 2-1. to one. Sam Merte is up now, fly to left field, and walked. Strike one inside corner. One and one outside. 
And it's a line drive one to the right fielder. One hit. One error. After four and a half. New York two. Brooklyn one. Uh, the Giants pull ahead. Two to one. So Cincinnati and St. Louis are tied in National League action in the second. Gilbert up now. Not Gilbert. Who is that? Whoever it is has got extra base hit. Hall. His counterpart, the second baseman, gets the leadoff double off the wall. So that'll bring up McIntyre. The running scoring position and nobody out. He's 0 for 1 in the day. Dribble it back to the pitcher. Again, he looks Hall back to second. And he retires McIntyre, the first out. And Philadelphia continues to lead Boston 4 to nothing in the fifth in National League action. That'll bring up Ritter. Grounded to short his first time up. Ball one. On the inside corner at Denise, one and one. Another dribble back to the pitcher. And what happened there? So McGann can't dig out the throw by McGinty, and I think they're gonna call that an error. Yeah, an error on McGinty. McGinnity. So that'll bring Hall will score. And Brooklyn has tied it up, two to two. So the first error on New York today. So that'll bring up Scanlon, the pitcher. He flied to right in his first time up. Ruto takes his lead up first, and he's off with the pitch. And that helped him stay out of the double play as Ritter moved up to second on the fielder's choice. Retiring Scanlon. So two outs now. The go-ahead run on second. Bring up Sheckard. So far 0 for 2 in the day. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Just missed low. One and one. Low and inside. Two and one. And it's a single to center, and that will knock in the go-ahead run. As Ritter comes in from second to put the to put Brooklyn up three to two. So an RBI single for Sheckard puts Brooklyn on top. Gessler up now. He's got two steals on the day. He's one for one also. Walked and hit by a. I mean, sorry, ground a single and hit by a pitch. And it's a drill board. Oh, it goes past the pitcher. What happened there? Oh, he's going to be safe as Dolan is unable to handle it after McGinty whiffed on that one. So guess will reach on an infield single. Oh, yeah, they're going to call that a hit. So. First and second now with two outs. So Detroit leads Chicago one to nothing in the third in American League action. So Dobbs up now. Grounded out to first and hit us bunted to move the runner over last time he was up. And he gets under one here. Back of the plate. Looks like it's going to be into the stands as Bresnahan gives chase. He's not able to get to it. So, 0 1 the count on Dobbs. High, high and way inside, ball 1, so 1 and 1 the count. And he'll pop it up first. McGann catches it near the first base bag, and that'll do it. One error after 5 complete. New York 2, Brooklyn 3. But Brooklyn scores 2 to take a 3 2 lead. So Cincinnati and St. Louis are tied at three. We're tied in the third. Two to two. Brings up Art Devil in the third baseman for the Giants. Down by a run now. And he hits it to right. And McIntyre will move over and make the catch. One down. Brings up Dolan. Walked and grounded the short. 
And looks like McIntyre is going to make the catch again. Ooh. Looks like he had some difficulty with it. So it's off his glove. Falls to the ground and down safe at second. So let's score that in E9. That's the third error on Brooklyn today. Hopefully the uh, Giants can take advantage of that. Philadelphia and New York are tied at two. Numerical League action in seventh inning. Brings up Gilbert. He was one for two in the day. In there for a strike. And first to Gilbert. Scanlon fires to Gilbert. Okay. So one and one the count. And he gets under one here. Left fielder Shuckard will make the catch for the second out. Getting the up now is 0 for 1. Let's see if he can uh, help his own cause and tie up the game. Strike one called. High and tight, 1 and 1. Low and outside, 2 and 1. Foul ball down the left flight line, 2 and 2. And so this one's going to go back behind the plate. It's going to be out about into the crowd. So, two and two the count. Full count. And foul ball on the left field line. And he gets under one here on the left field there. No hits, one error. After five hits. Shepard comes in and makes the catch. So the score remains three to two Brooklyn as so we head to the top bottom of the sixth. It'll be Batch, Lewis, and Hall for Brooklyn. Guineas yes. pretty economical, 57 pitches to five innings. And Gilbert will make the catch on the soft liner. Brings up Lewis, he's 0 for 2. And this one gets by Gilbert into right field. So Lewis has himself a single. Brings up Hall, the second baseman, he's 1 for 2 in the day. And he hits this one in the center. And Dolan has to go a long way to his. Sorry, Donlin has to go a long way to his left, but he does make the catch in right center field for the second out. Pittsburgh has opened up a 7-3 lead against the Cubs in the 8th inning. So McIntyre is 0-2 for two, is up now with two outs and Lewis on first. Turning back to the plate. Uh, he's going to have a shot at this one and no, it's into the stands. So 0-1 oh the count. High and inside, one and one. Foul ball to the backstop. One and two. And shot down the left field line, and Mertes gives chase, but it's in the crowd. So one and two. And it's a line at a Gilbert makes the catch. Try the side. New York two, Brooklyn three. So let's see what the Giants can do in the top of the seventh. Where they trail Brooklyn three to two. So Donlin comes up to the plate, still looking for that hit to extend his hitting streak. Now would be a great time. And there it is, down the poor play by the right fielder. And they're gonna score that a double, and McIntyre just took a bad route to that ball. Goes all the way to the wall, and Donlin's going to be in there with a double. So leadoff double, and Donlin extends his hitting streak to nine games. So that'll bring up Brown, who's 0 for 3 in the day. One another count. That was way off. Gets swing and a miss, one and one. And it's a hot shot. Over the second baseman. And ooh, 
nobody out, we're going to hold them. McGrath decides to hold them. So Donlin will stay at third. 63% chance there. So runners at the corners now with nobody out. And Cleveland leads the St. Louis Browns. 4-1 to one in the seventh. So Bresnahan up. Runners at the corners. And just outside, ball one. Two to the count. Make that 3 0. Curveball misses. And foul ball down the left field line. 3 and 1. And catches the inside edge for a full count now. On Bresnahan. And he'll walk. Ball 4. So that'll load the bases. So that's 6 walks for Scanlon on the day. He's been wild all day. See if the Giants can cash in. Down by one. Got the bases loaded and nobody out. McGann up now for two. And another ball at the shoulders. And swings and he misses. McGann does. So it's one and one. Two and one up and outside. Down and outside, three and one, so yeah, Scanlon is uh, continues to go all over the place. Cannot seem to find the strike zone. Uh, I think we might take one here. Strike, outside corner. Again, shakes his head at that one, didn't think that one was a strike. And he strikes him out. So that's one down. So they bring up Sam Mertes, who's 0 for 2. Wide to left, line to right, and walked. In close. Ball one. Two and oh. Swing and a miss. Strike one. So count evens at two. She swings at another pitch. And Murtis gets under one. He's going to pop it up the short. And that isn't going to do it. Martez and uh, Lewis will make the catch with the second out. So it'll be up to Devlin. If he get himself on base somehow, Brooklyn is going to score. If the Dodgers... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if the Giants are going to score. Strike one just below the belt. Right at the knees. Strike two. So 0-2. Oh so Devlin's in the hole. Inside. One and two. Count evens at two. Ump says Devlin held up on his swing. So they count even at two. And it's a shot down the third base line. And... No runs. Ugh. So... No errors. After six and a half. New York two. Brooklyn three. So a disappointing inning for the Giants, who loaded the bases and nobody out, and were unable to score. So the Phillies lead Boston 6-0 now in the 7th. So Ritter, Scanlon, and Sheckard will be up for Brooklyn now, trying to extend their lead. They're getting the back out there again. And a leadoff walk. I bring up Scanlon, 0 for 2. Hot shot to the shortstop. Dallin's unable to handle it. So I think he'll be charged with an error there. So that's the second error for the Giants today. Which allows Scanlon to get on. We're going to move up to second. So runners on first and second with nobody out for Shuckard. He is 1 for 3 on the day. Ball 1 inside. Not just ball 1. And this time, Dylan's able to get it in turn two. So, 6 4 3 double play. Ritter moves to third, but now with two out. He brings up Gessler. It's two for two in the day with two steals. And strike one called. Way outside and high, one and one. And 
Oh, it's going to fall in there. And that's going to bring home the fourth Brooklyn run. So that'll bring up Dobbs, who's over two in the day. So we got a little Gessler on there. And look at that. Looks like we almost got him there. Try again. And we get him this time. This time we got him leading. So McGinnity picks him off after he stole two bases previously. Get a little too greedy there. But Brooklyn does score a run and lead is at 4-2 after a 7 full. Detroit still leads Chicago 1-0 in the 5th in American League action. So Dolan will lead it off. Scaling back out there. He's up to 121 pitches. Gets under one and hits it to left. Shepard drifts in and makes the catch. Let me just check something here. Yeah, Brooklyn is the computer. Just wanted to make sure of that. As I did do some exhibition games, so I just wanted to make sure that the computer was controlling Brooklyn, which they are. All right, so that brings up Gilbert with one down. He's one for three in the day. And a hot shot down the left field line, and he gets in there. Shecker throws it in quickly, but Gilbert hits the dirt and slides in safe. So a great slide by Gilbert, and one out double for Giants. Do we leave McGinnity in? Hmm. He is a 233 hitter. His pitch count is pretty good, so I think I am going to leave him in. Let him hit for himself. Ball one, almost hit him that, one, that time. 2 0. Oh. In there for a strikes, and he swung at it too, says the umpire. So 2 and 1. Count evens at 2 inside on the black, though. Two and two of the count. And a dribble at a second. That'll get the runner over. So a pass ball or a wild pitch could could score a run. Cincinnati leads St. Louis three to two in the sixth. As we did not check our scores, but we've been pretty much updating you as they appear, so I don't think there's anything that exciting here. Pittsburgh beat Chicago 7-4 in a final there. You can take a look at the other scores if you'd like to see them. Okay. So Gilbert's on third with Don Lynn up now. One for three. Strike at the knees. And he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And, and he strikes out in three pitches. One hit. No errors. After seven and a half, New York two, Brooklyn four. So the Giants are going to have to do some rallying in the ninth if uh, they want to maintain their four game hitting streak and increase it to five. So Dobbs up now, he's over two. Drillboy to short, Dallin's up with it, over to McGann. And just barely beats him. So one down. McKinney back out there again. He's thrown 84, only 84 pitches so far, which is very economical in the eighth inning. So Batch over three. And hits this one a long way to center. But Donlin is able to run underneath it and make the catch. So two outs now for Lewis, who's one for three. And a liner to Donlin makes the catch. All right, so Brooklyn needs two to tie. And then George Brown comes up first. He's one for four. Scanlon's still back out there. He's thrown 134 pitches so far. But it's only allowed two runs and five hits. And that's why he's still out there. And the shortstop Lewis comes in, fields it. And... 
throws over Gessler for the out. So Bresnahan up now, 0 for 3 in the day. And what happened there? It looked like it looked like he caught it, but apparently it charged it, but he let it fall in front of him. So I didn't want to take any chances. So that'll bring up the tying run. And McGann, who's 0 for 3 in the day. Throw over to first. Razan's back safely. Outside corner, 0 and 1. 1 and 1. Low one inside. And another hit. And no 35% chance. We're not going to take a chance. So Bresnahan again gets on. Bresnahan moves up to second. So runners on first and second for Sam Merte. So the tying runs are on. Tying run is on. Sam Merte is 0 for 3. Scaling up to 146 pitches. And it's going to be a hit. And one run comes in. Two runs come in. And Merte is in there with a triple as he slides under the tag so he knocks in two and the Giants tie it up at four so wow probably one of the more exciting plays a triple there and Mertes is able to knock in two to tie the score so the go-ahead run now with just one down and Art Devlin up he's one for four in the day see if see if they uh, make a pitching change no Scanlon's still out there no, we're not gonna send it. He's only a 29% chance, so no. So Hall makes the play. Marquez holds at third. Brings up Dallin, is 0 for 3 in the day. Strike one inside corner at the knees. One and one. We're gonna get somebody up in the bullpen just in case here. Get our one reliever. That's the only thing I don't like about the. Well, not the only thing, but one of the things I don't really care for about the. Uh, but I guess that's how the game was played. Is that uh, they didn't have many relievers. At least Action PC doesn't have many relievers. As Quad Elliott is our only reliever. Uh, I suppose we could get a starter up, but we're just gonna go with Elliott. Uh, See, so yeah, he only he pitched 14 pitches on the 20 on the last game. 70 a couple days before, so we'll only bring him in if necessary. So Darwin is up now. Let's see if he can get Mertes home with the go-ahead run. Count of two and one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Full count now. And they're gonna just put him on. Yep. Decide to intentionally walk him if the count was full. I don't know why. They're bringing up Gilbert now. He's two for four in the day, so he's got himself a cup, a single, and a double. Ball one low. Two and zero. Ball outside, so hitters count now. And it's going to be a single up the middle. And Mertes will come in with the go-ahead run. And the Giants take the lead. No. So on the RBI, clutch RBI single by Gilbert. Puts the Giants ahead. So it looks like Elliot is ready. I think we're probably going to bring him in. To close it out. So McGinnity up now. We're going to pinch hit for him, yes. Hmm, I'm gonna bring in now. I'm bringing in Strang a lot, so. Because he doesn't only have 13 at bats. I guess I could bring Barham and the catcher in. 269. He's our best bet, I think, other than Strang. Uh, who do we have in there? We have a Scalings or a Lefty. Six, oh yeah, he's hitting 686 OPS. He's got 793 OPS though. Mm. <laughs> 2.5 and 
259 average. Slugging 347. All we need is a single, though, I think. Yeah, we may we may need that catcher later on, so let's uh let's just bring Strang in. Yeah, we're gonna bring in Strang. Alright, so Strang comes in to pinch hit. Over New York. Sammy Strang. Let's see if they keep Scanlin in or they go to the bullpen. And they do. And Scanlin will get a that'll fall in there. Gilbert moves in the third, and run comes home, and that's a two-run lead now for New York as they put up four. So they've had a lot of late-inning heroics in the last couple of games. So John McGraw, the manager, is very pleased with their never-say-die attitude. So Strang gets an RB pinch hit RBI single to add to the Giants' lead. Donlin up now, one for four. Scanlon looks like he's still out there. Don't know why, but... And that's a hit back to the pitcher, and that'll do it. Five hits, no errors. After eight and a half, New York six, Brooklyn four. But Brooklyn, I mean, uh, the Giants put up a four spot to take a six to four lead. And Elliot will come in. Claude Elliott. Pitching for New York, Claude Elliott. So Elliott is 2 and 1 on the season with an ERA of 5.79. 14 innings pitched, 17 hits allowed. A homer and 7 runs batted in. So, I mean, 7 uh, walks. So I'm glad that we get the extra run there. Elliott has been a little bit shaky. Just so I bring Hall comes up to bat first for, excuse me, uh, Brooklyn. Uh, yeah, Brooklyn. He's one for three, and he gets under one. Looks like Brezian's gonna have a chance at this one, and he will. He make the catch for the first out. So he pop Hall pops up to the catcher. McIntyre, to 0 for three, and it's a line to Gilbert. Second out. So, Brooklyn is down to their last out. Ritter 0 for 2 is up. And he pops it up to first. McGann is under it. And the Giants will win. So, a great comeback for, by the Giants again. And they win it. We're from Washington Park, New York 6. Brooklyn four. New York has won five in a row. Brooklyn is on a five-game losing streak. <laughs> Kennedy is the winner. He is now three and one on the season. Doc Scanlon picks up the loss. He is now three and one on the season. Claude Elliott gets the save. Number two. Time of the game: two hours, one minute. So Kelly gets a second save, even though they didn't record saves back then. And as the my buddy, the computer guy, did a f another fine job. Um, said the New York Giants have now won five in a row, and Brooklyn has lost five in a row. So let's check. McGinney three and one, and Scalin three and one. McGinney gets the MVP. I don't know about that one. Yeah, I guess it's not really a big stand -in. although Mertes had a big, huge, actually, triple in the ninth inning to knock in two to tie the score, so I don't know. McGinney, yeah, I guess he only let up one earned run, so. Out of the four runs he allowed, only one of them was earned, so. I guess that's a pretty darn good job, so I guess you can I think you want to go with a co MVP for McGinnity and for Mertes. Scanlon gets the loss, he falls to three and one, his first defeat of the season. 
So both pitchers came into the game with a 1.33 ERA. McGinnity slightly improves his to 1.29. And Scanlon's ERA is now 2, even. So 10 hits allowed by Scanlon for earned runs. 7 walks out. That was his downfall there as he is all over the place. With a couple of strikeouts. 161 pitches allowed. Again, it's a questionable decision by the Brooklyn manager to once again leave his starter in once he appeared to be tired. So I'm sure he'll have to answer to that in the papers. So that'll do it. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming as the New York Giants beat Brooklyn. Actually, let's just check the scoreboard real quick. So exit here. Check the standing, sorry. So the Giants improved to 9-5 and five and now tie to the Philadelphia Phillies for second. And trail the Chicago Cubs by only a half game. So they're half game out of first. And Brooklyn is now in the basement as they're 5-10. And, and the next game... So the next game, let's see... Actually, it looks like they have the day off, so we'll just fast play these. Oops. Let's quickly double check to make sure Ty Cobb... No, he's not on until... the end of, I think, like middle of September at least, maybe end of August. So we'll play all these. So let's see, so the next game, so let's just check the standings now. Oh, okay, so it's Cubs 1, so they only trail by 1. Let's call it And next game is going to be the May 1st game. We're already into May. So the season's moving along. And let's see. Looks like we're going to play the Bean Eaters again. Yeah. So we're going to revisit the Bean Eaters. And I think the start of a three game set that's going to be. Looks like a four game set against the Bean Eaters. Let's see how we've done against them so far. You can see we went five in a row and we actually swept the Bean Eaters, so we're glad to see them. And we're facing them in a four game set. We actually we blanked them. Actually, no, we didn't. <laughs> We won them pretty handily, though, except for the last game. 8-2, to 6-2, to two, and 6-5. to five. So, who's pitching? Let's just see who's pitching first. So, we can let you know. Oops. Okay, why is that there? Uh, here we go. So, let's just start it here. I just want to... Oh, we can tell right here. So upcoming games, so it's going to be Ames against Frazier. So that should be a good pitching matchup. So thank you for joining me. It's me, Eric from Higher Ground Gaming, and we'll see you in the next 1905 season replay. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.